Okay, I'm making a fast video of one of the requests uh, from my Discord channel. And this is a proper turn in place for FPP uh, animation setup. So we're not going to do a lot of work in here. We're just going to use this uh, proper FPS uh, example, so the pro FPS example we uh, created in the previous tutorials. So just quickly remind ourselves how it looked like. We got two players and let's just move this guy we can go get a weapon pick it up it goes into our inventory we have it selected and now when we are turning we're just turning in place and um, there is no uh, turn in place animation we are doing animations from the uh, animation starter pack so the diagonal uh, strafing is well not, not the best especially at those angles strafing is quite okay yeah but the quality of the base animation is not that good like we have proper overlay but we don't have proper base animation so let's uh, fix that right now let's go into our blueprint uh, let's now go to our uh, event graph and to the place where we have um, set up armed and unarmed uh, animations and what we are looking for is set up armed so here when we set up uh, base pose we set up animation starter pack but i will pick um, actually i could even pick kubot longsword but we're going to uh, pick uh, pistol pro so this is from a different uh, tutorial i made a tutorial let me find it it's agr examples uh, maps and I think it was called um, mocap anim test map yeah so it's this one and in here also two players dedicated server we can oh wait wait wait, wait. let's see what's going on okay what didn't compile okay mm, so now aiming is aiming true so block shoot is true so we updated this interface call so that might not be working okay and then okay and we also updated this okay now it should work we can go back here hit play that wasn't much work honestly to make it work so this guy can move and he's running on mocap animations and he's not strafe walking unless i press right mouse button then he goes into strafe walk and now he's aiming and he swapped his aim offset and he has turned in place but this turn in place uh, allows me for a name offset and triggers once i hit certain threshold of an angle and then he moves to match this angle okay and let's just quickly go into this guy you can see him he's also turning in place and then he shoots but they're using a projectile that doesn't have particles in it okay so We'll be using this animation that we set up in this tutorial and this is a separate video I will just link in the description. And we're going back into our FPS Pro map and we go into our uh, FPS Pro character and here we just set up this Pistol Pro. And that's everything I'm going to do. Nothing more. Dedicated server, playoffs client, two players play. And I'm going to go into this guy. I'm going to go and pick up a weapon. Equip this weapon and now I have a different armed pose and now I am playing this turn in place animation and it is scaling in speed based on my turn speed. But it is also clamped so it can't play faster than twice my turn speed. And it is not affecting my camera at all because it's the legs being, um, you know, blended. Uh, on the bottom part of the body that's it so yeah now i have a lot better uh, strafe walking diagonal strafe walking 
in all directions with aim offset and with proper turn in place. Okay, so how is it being set up in the animation itself? Uh, we can go here into Azure Examples, Blueprints, and MVP, and we have um, pistol, but we need base. So it's Pistol Pro Base, this one. And let me show you real fast how it's being set up. So um, this looks pretty much standard like any other uh, base pose uh, animation. It has state machine for standing and crouching. And let's say that standing is true by default. So we go here and uh, is idle is true as well. So if he's idle, he can go into turn in place if his normalized leaning absolute value is above 0 0.1. So he will ignore, he will not try to play this animation uh, when you have those micro movements of mouse because just our hands are shaking by default. So we always move the uh, mouse just a little bit uh, and it will not react and it will not, not try to play animations. But if you go above this value, he'll go into turn in place. And if you go below this value, it will go into idle. And if you are not idle, then you go into locomotion. But here we have set up a start and stop animations. So it will go into start to moving, stop and into idle. And you can enter turn in place only from idle. So only when you are turning in place, literally in place. And how this is being done, you get the normalized lean. And if your lean, so your rotation of this frame against the rotation of the previous frame of animation, uh, if it is a positive value, that means that you are turning left. If it is negative value, that means you are turning right. So you just have those looping animations that are loop animations here. And you have play rate, which is a value between 0 0.2 up to a maximum of 1.5. I could actually even make it um something bigger like two i don't know uh depends on you how you want it to look like like uh for me making the animations look good is more important than actual no foot sliding because if you turn very fast you would have to run this animation um on like play rate of eight for example that would just look ridiculous so you just uh, read this value and you uh, make it absolute value. So it doesn't matter right now if it's positive or negative because we are already distinguishing left and right here and we're taking this value here. Um, and that's it. And we're not doing any super smart blends or anything like that. It's, it's just this. Now we can go also to our uh, M16. overlay and we can see how we are blending the spine and we are blending the spine with blend depth of three okay so that's fine uh, so yeah that's uh, just it let's play one so i can show you again on a bigger screen uh, pick up one we can pick up so now when I look down, I can see I am turning in place, left and right, properly as should. And all my animations adjusted to this new base pose. Uh, that is the Cobalt Pistol Pro animation pack. And when it comes down to just locomotion, so just the leg movements, the uh, long sword pack, the rifle pack and the pistol pack, they have the same movement. Uh, so if you are doing overlays for FPP game, it doesn't really matter which pack you are using uh, for the bottom body. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this answered your question and this uh, helped you improve on the animation quality of your project. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.